This JavaScript code makes HTTP request to this REST API endpoint using the promise syntax. We can rewrite this same code using the async await syntax. Async await will give us the same result, but for a more complex code, async await can be more friendly to work with. To use the async await syntax, first and first, a function that uses await will have to be declared as async. If this were to be an arrow function, let me show you in a moment, const do something to be equal to, here we say async. No. So this will give the same result like before. Then down here, we can say const response to be equal to await fetch the same URL. Now this will return us some data that we can transform to the type of data we want to work with. In this example, this is transformed to JSON. To achieve the same result, we can say const data to be equal to await response.json to have that data in JSON format. In the next line, we have this cache in case there is an error. When using async await, we can achieve something similar using the try cache block. So that is for the cache that is shown at this line. And of course, for finally, we can come down here and say finally console.log async await. And if there is any error, let's just do console.log error. And up here, just like we had for the promise, let me say console.log data. If I save this and go to the browser, refresh this page, nothing happens. We did not call the function. Let's come down here and call this function. Save it, go back to the browser and refresh. You can see that we get the result for promise. We also get that for async await. Please like, subscribe or follow for more.